Atlassian is always making changes to the Jira platform, and one change that has been particularly painful has been the how epics and their stories are related inside of Jira. For better or for worse, Atlassian changed how this works, but when it comes time to importing your issues in Jira using like a bulk import process, the steps to now create and establish that relationship between that epic and those stories is not straightforward. And almost every single article that is out there on the Atlassian community is still pointing to the old way when you used to have an epic link and an epic name, but we don't have those anymore. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to import your stories in bulk and connect them, establish a relationship with an existing epic in Jura. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video and don't forget to check out those links down below as I have links to my book, my merch store, my paid courses, my free courses, and all the other different ways that you can help support this channel. Let's jump into it. Today's sponsor is NASA, not another stand-up app. The Jira app that puts Scrum Masters in the driver's seat, control every aspect of your stand-ups, and guide your team to excellence. All right, so for this demo, this is going to be a series of demos because there's so many different ways to do imports, and I'm going to be focusing maybe the next three to four videos on just imports, primarily because I've been doing a lot of imports recently, and this is top of my mind right now. But first, I'm going to show you, this is very critical, the epic already exists in Jira. That means that the epic is not part of our import file. So we are going to bring in a bunch of stories into an existing epic in Jira. So let me show you how to do this. So over in Jira, we just need to know which epic we want to import to. And the best way is to go to your timeline view here. You're going to see your epic. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of these epics here. Uh, let's just pick AAD29 and I'm going to add five more stories to it. Of course, I could always click the plus button, but let's just say that we wanted to add 50 or 100 or the max is a thousand, right? So if we wanted to add hundreds of stories and maybe we wanted to do them to a variety of different epics, well, it'd be very painful to sit here and manually create them. Fortunately for us, Atlassian allows us to essentially create a CSV file with all the data that we want, and then we can import it in. So let me show you how to prepare that CSV file, and then I'm gonna show you how to run the import so that the children those stories we're going to bring in automatically are nested underneath their epic that they belong in. Let me show you how to do that next. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want, now that we know the epic we want to do, is you're going to want to pull up Excel. Okay, this is, uh, you can use Google Sheets, you can use whatever CSV friendly tool you have. I'm going to use Excel because I have it here. It's easy, right? And the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to start off with something like issue type. Right, because sometimes you want to bring in stories, tasks, and bugs. Because remember, this is going to work at that level zero, right? So essentially, if I were to abstract out and kind of walk you through what we're trying to accomplish here, we have a level zero issue type, a bug, a task, a story, any other custom issue type. And we're trying to connect it with your level one, which is typically your epic, although you can change that now, right? But that's all we're trying to do. We're trying to connect the level zero to a level one. In future videos, I'm going to show you how to connect a level one to a level two, a level negative one to a level zero. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you drop a like in this video so you're notified when I drop those other videos. All right, but here we are. We're just going to say we're going to have a story, story. We're going to have a task, task, and a bug. We're just going to bring in a couple of different issue types, right? The next thing that you want is the name, right? Um, this can be the summary, right? It's, it's up to you. Um, I don't know if you've ever... This video is not to show you how to do an import because I've covered that before, but essentially you need the title of the ticket, right? So I'm going to go, this is my story one. Uh, this is my story one. This is my task one. I'm going to come back and update these. This is my task two. And this is my bug, right? Again, these things can be whatever you want. Uh, you just need to have a summary. And then from there, Again, because this video is not focused on how to do an import in general, but rather how to establish the parent-child relationship between an epic and a story, um, the rest of the columns are totally optional. You don't really care about like the description, the priority, story points. If you want, you can bring those in, and all you need to do is include a column for description, uh, story points, priority, fixed version, whatever you want. If it's a field, just add a column to it. But what I'm trying to show you in this video is how do we now connect these five stories that we're bringing in 
level zero items and connect them with that existing epic. And so here what we're going to do is we're going to add an epic because if you look, right, if you remember how it used to work, we would have an epic name. The epic would have a field called an epic name, and that used to be basically a carbon copy of the summary. And then the story would have something called an epic link, which would basically be pointing to that epic name. So it'd be the same. And when we had that same name, Jira would be smart enough to go, oh, this story's epic link points to this epic's epic name. Those two must be related, so let's connect them together. But Atlassian has since gone away with the epic link and the epic name. We don't have those in Jira anymore. So how do we import our epics? Well, your research would point you to parent and your issue ID, your parent ID and your issue ID. Now those don't work for epics. You're going to have to stay tuned for future videos where we do talk about other imports with other types of relationships. But when it comes specifically to the story and the epic, the parent ID and the issue ID, they don't work. So I'm going to show you how to do this correctly. All right now, again, this assumes big disclaimer, we have an existing epic and in a future video, I will show you how to do this if the epic is new in Jira. But for now, we're going to focus, we're going to grab that AAD-29. You want to bring it exactly how it is here, AAD-29. And you want to be careful here as a tip, when you do this, it's going to auto increment. That's no bueno. We don't want that. We want the same key. So do whatever you got to do in your Excel-like tool to essentially make sure that these values are the same. In Excel, if you usually uh, grab two cells and then drag them down, it'll preserve the numbering so it doesn't auto increment. So this is all we need, right? Again, totally optional, the rest of the fields, but at a minimum, this is what I would recommend you bring, especially if you want like status and all that other stuff. It's all up to you. Once you have made it this far, all we need to do is in Excel, uh, save this as a CSV file. So we're gonna do save as, import epics, and we're gonna save this here as a CSV. Hit save, and that's it. We're done with Excel, we can close this out of the way. Back in Jira, the next thing you need to know is the name of your project because that's going to play a critical role. So in this case, we're doing to this a tech ARN demo. We're going to click on the gear over here. I'm going to do it the way that I'm used to doing it. There's other different ways to import and spoilers. Apparently Atlassian is changing the way imports are going to happen in Jira. I haven't seen it yet. I'm hoping they don't make it worse, but it's coming. All right. So we have a CSV import here. We're going to select that. We are then going to select our file, which we just saved. So it's right here. I'm going to click open. I am, I don't have an existing configuration file, so I can skip all that. I'm going to leave all that alone. Click next. This next step here, this is where it's important for you to remember the name of your Jira project because you're going to need it. Jira needs to know what project am I importing these items to. So here we're going to select that APTEC ARN demo that we we're looking at. If you're going to import users, you need to get the suffix correctly. If you're going to do anything with dates, you got to get your formats correctly. I'm not doing any of those, so I don't care for that. Let me know in the comments, though, if you need help importing users and or dates, we can add on another fifth or sixth video on showing you how to do that. And once you have that, this right here, my friends, this is the magical part. If you're multitasking, this is where you want to pay attention. When we connect the epic to the story, this is the most magical, most important step. We're going to look up Epic Link. I don't know why. Atlassian, you got to figure this out better. But this old legacy field still exists under the hood. We just don't have visibility to it anymore, but it's still there. And so Epic Link is what you want. This is how this magically happens. I always click map field. I don't think you ever have to do this, but this is a force of habit. I do like a thousand imports and I always do this checkbox. I am pretty sure you don't need to but I always do just so that I can see what I have. And I'm going to click on next. And then I'm just going to review everything, make sure everything looks good, right? Make sure this is a, it's a, really, it's a sanity check. That's really all it is, right? It's, it's you confirming that what you brought in is exactly what you brought in because maybe, maybe you have a little B in your file or a little S and Jira does, it's not smart enough to say, Hey, in Jira, your bugs capitalized, right? It's not that smart. So this is a great opportunity for you to check and make sure it maps to the correct issue type. Okay, check. Once everything's good, you just hit begin import. So we're just gonna let the import happen. Depending on the size of your files, right? However many rows you're bringing in, it's gonna take anywhere from a few seconds to 
10, 15 minutes. So if you're bringing in like a thousand, trust me, it takes like a solid 15, 20 minutes to import a thousand issues. But because we only did a handful, we're done. And so you can see zero projects and five issues were imported successfully. So now all we got to do is go back to our ARN project. We're going to go back to our timeline and then we're going to expand our AAD over here. And now we have the five extra issues that we brought in. We have story one, story two, task one, task two, and this is my bug. As you can see, very, very easy. Assuming that you know that you're not trying to link to the issue ID or the parent ID. This is going to come very helpful in future videos when we do different types of imports. But when it comes exclusively to connecting your stories with your epics, this is the way to do it. Okay. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed and you found this video valuable, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really does help the channel grow. And finally, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, that comment section down below is going to be your best way to let me know if you have any questions or comments or concerns. Um, don't forget to check out those links in the description. Pick up my book. It's brand new. just came out. Show some love. Show some support. Uh, take the free courses. Take the paid courses. Check out the merch store. Lots of cool things happening. So make sure you check out all the different links. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Today's video was sponsored by Not Another Standup App. From customizable questions to detailed progress metrics, this app has everything you need for effective Agile meetings.